Hey there everyone, Havesh here, back again with another video and in this video, we're gonna move forward into the flutter direction and we're going to explore a few more things. Now, in case you remember when we created our very first app, there was a button at the bottom which we were pressing and it was increasing the numbers there. So we're almost there. Uh, we have created our uh, app bar top here and things are good, but we don't have that button. Obviously, we don't have this top bar here as well. Now, I hope many of you have tried and try to get a, a title here. In case you have got a success, that's all good. In case you haven't got a success, then it's pretty easy. You can use a title and that can have a text widget and then you can pass on something like Instagram. And there we go. That's it. Save that. Hit the hot reload there. And there we go. We should be able to see the name. There we go. Instagram. Instagram in green. Who would have thought that? But it's you. It's your creativity. So there we go, we have gone through with the stuff. Now let's go ahead and talk more into the stuff. So what we need to do is we need to go on to this scaffolding. So we're gonna search for that scaffolding. Come on, give me class there. Come on, you can do so. Okay, there we go, scaffold. And uh, I'm not looking for this scaffold. I'm looking for the entire class here. Come on, you can show me. Okay, somehow that is not giving me the scaffold class. Okay, there we go, this page is giving me. So we have seen that we have used quite intensive in the app bar and notice we have used all the properties including the title. We surely can use these actions, buttons, bottom, flexible space, all of that, not right now. The next thing that we are interested in is this floating action button. So we can have this. And if you notice into the constructors as well, we can have a lot of things, but the things which I'm interested in this, just look into the documentation, Flood, floating action button. You can again have background colors. So here's your quick assignment, change the background color of this floating action button. And we can have other things as well. Uh, but the important part is if it is a button, just like almost like JavaScript-ish, it is going to have on pressed event and the on pressed event requires you to pass on a void callback function which is pretty easy to do i know if this sounds all jargon don't worry i'll explain all of that as we go through with it first and foremost the title part is done now just like in the scaffolding we have passed on app bar and background color we're going to pass on more things and that more thing is going to be floating action button which requires a floating action button and just like that, it requires you to pass on an on pressed function. So how we do that, it's really simple. It's just called this as on pressed and then you can pass on a function. It's almost like JavaScript ish in variety of languages it exists. It's like a function without name. Uh, some call that as Lambda, some call it different words, but this is it. This is what you have to do. Now, right now, your function can do a variety of things. It can change colors, it can change text values. A lot of things can be done. But for that, we, we require a couple of other knowledge as well. We are going to just keep it right there. So we are somehow trying to fool that, yes, there is on press function. It has a void function, means it doesn't return anything. And it's a proper function. But that's a different case that it doesn't do anything. So we're going to just save that. And there we go. We have it. We don't have any problem with this. So there we go. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to just save that. And we are going to hit Shift R so that we can see that. Come on. We, okay, my phone is logged again. Okay, and there we go. We can see the bottom here, a small widget there. Now, simple assignment, please change down the color of this one. And this is actually pressable. It gives you a small a wiggly effect of uh, the material fluid design as well. We are gonna explore that in a little bit more so that how we can add more widgets into that, how we can add icons, can change the color and how we can uh, importantly can be able to do something with it that's the important part but for that we require a few other pieces of knowledge as well i think right now it's pretty good and it's pretty okay we're gonna just go into that and don't worry about this access denied finding property all these errors because i'm running it on a real device it might be a little bit onto offside but if you're running it on simulator or anything it's gonna just give no such errors or anything so there we go, our simple, simple, very few lines of code and we were able to design this much of the stuff, which is pretty cool actually. So that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.